Hey guys, welcome back to Notorious Crafts. In this video, I will show you how I made the decorations for this miniature beach themed cabinet. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see some more miniature projects that I create. I'm going to use this white miniature dollhouse cabinet and then I'm going to paint it over with some blue paint and I'm going to mix together some different colors to get the exact blue that I want. And now I'm going to paint the cabinet with two layers of paint with some time to dry in between each layer. Now I'm not painting it perfectly because I want this cabinet to have more of a weathered old look. So once it's dry, I'm just going to grab some sandpaper and sand it down to make it look like it has been weathered down. And next, I am going to make this little message in a bottle. So I'm just grabbing some tan colored paper and I'm just going to measure it out to see how big it needs to be to fit in my bottle. And that's the size of the paper that I'm going to cut. And I'm just going to cut a long strip and this is going to be rolled up later. And to make the paper look more aged, I'm just going to use the edge of my scissors and just rub the edges to make the paper look a little bit older. And then using some brown paint with water, I'm gonna use that to make this paper look a little bit more aged. And that way it'll look like the message has been lost at sea for many years. And now once the paper is dry, I just roll it up and then place it inside of the bottle and then put the cork back on. Next, I'll make this miniature candle in a jar. To start off with, I just use a white glue stick and I measure it to see how much I need to cut for it to fit in the jar. And then I just poke a hole on the top of it and then I'm just gonna use a bronze colored wire for the wick and then just insert it into where I put a hole in it. And then I'm going to use some glue at the very bottom of the jar to hold the candle in place. And I'll do that using a toothpick. And then try to put the, my miniature candle in. Um, I'm going to need some help with a tool just to get it in all the way. And then just to make the jar look a little bit more decorative, I'm going to use some twine string that I have and it's going to create more of a beachy look. So I just tie it with a double knot and then I'm once I'm done, just trim the edges. Next, I'll show you how I make this miniature sailboat. To start off with, I grab a large size popsicle stick and then I'm just going to draw the shape of my boat directly onto the popsicle stick. I'm going to create many layers. So this first layer, I'm going to cut out and then it's go I'm going to use it to trace the other layers of the boat. I do not have really thick wood, which is why I am using many layers of this popsicle stick wood. And then later I will glue it once I have all of the layers. And now that I have all the pieces cut out, I'm gonna use some of this Gorilla Wood Glue to glue all of the layers of wood together. I have a total of three pieces of wood. And these three layers got me to the thickness that I want for my boat. And then I'm gonna stack all of these together and clamp them down and let it dry overnight. And now that these are all dry, I'm going to use some sandpaper to sand down the edges to get them all even and make it look like it's going to be one piece of wood. I'm also sanding down the edges and making them more round and look more like a boat. And now that I got the shape that I want, I'm going to create a stand for it using a few smaller pieces of wood. And then I'm going to create a small hole and that is where my sail is going to go.
Now that we have the entire boat finished, I'm just going to paint it in a layer of white paint. And I'm going to use some matte Mod Podge to seal the edges of this blue fabric that is going to be my sail. And this Mod Podge will keep the edges from fraying. And I'm just going to attach the sail using some glue on one side of the toothpick. And I have some of these charms that are going to be perfect for my beach thing cabinet. Jewelry charms make really great miniatures. Now I'll put a link down below to the ones that I am using here today. I also have some of these miniature buckets that I found at Michael's and these will be perfect to add some shells inside. These are some shells that I actually found at the beach many years ago and they're small enough to fit inside of the bucket. I also have these really tiny dried starfish that are going to make really great decorations inside the cabinet. I also just filled a miniature glass jar with some sand and when I was at the beach, I collected some different shells, sea glass, and some wood. And I made these miniature maps in another video, which I'll put a link down below. And now for my favorite part, to put everything inside of the cabinet. <laughs> 